Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray you through the Bible verse by verse and this podcast is brought to you by you. (laughs) Thank you to all of the Patreons, the patrons of the Pray Every Day show because of what you have done, you have empowered this podcast to reach over, get this guys, over 900,000 downloads. And I'm hoping that by the end of July, we may hit a million. And when I, when we do that, I will let you know. Won't that be so amazing? So thanks for the patrons. It's all because of you. You have empowered this podcast to go all over the world, which has been my prayer and my hope from the beginning. If you'd like to help support the podcast, you can go to patreon.com slash pray every day. At the $10 level, you'll get one of my free paintings at the first of the month. At the 25, you will receive a podcast that's secret that nobody else gets. So there's only a handful of people that uh, support at that level and they get this free podcast every month. So it's cool. It's different from Pray Every Day too. It's um, teaching from me. Original. All right, cool. So we are in now Acts chapter 10 verses 1 through 8. And um, this is a really exciting story, so I'm so excited to share it with you. We're in the voice translation. Cornelius, a Roman centurion and a member of a unit called the Italian Cohort, lived in Caesarea. Cornelius was an outsider, but he was a devout man, a God-fearing fellow with a God-fearing family. He consistently and generously gave to the poor, and he practiced constant prayer to God. About three o'clock one afternoon, he had a vision of a messenger of God. Messenger of God said, Cornelius. Cornelius, terrified, said, What is it, sir? Messenger of God said, God has heard your prayers, and he has seen your kindness to the poor. God has taken notice of you. Send men south to Joppa, to the house of a tanner named Simon. Asked to speak to a guest of his named Simon, but also called Peter. You'll find this house near the waterfront. After the messenger departed, Cornelius immediately called two of his slaves and a soldier under his command, an especially devout soldier. He told them the whole story and sent them to Joppa. Mind if I pray for you? Lord Jesus, thank you for this story. And I love that here's someone who is not a Jewish person and he yet still loves you. And how that must have been, it must have really stood out um, because it just wasn't common. He was a God-fearing man with a God-fearing family and it didn't matter to him that he was an outsider. He still loved you. Lord, help us to be like Cornelius. Help us to be generous to the poor. Help us to practice constant prayer to you. Lord, help us to have that kind of dialogue with you every single day. Sometimes people ask me, since I run the Pray Every Day show, um, you know, how do you pray? Or what, <clears throat> what do I need to know about prayer? And I often just say, it's just talking to God all day long. It's having that conversation with the Lord all day long. And so that's my prayer is that we would have that kind of conversation today. And Lord Jesus, this, what the messenger of God says to Cornelius, I believe um, you are saying to us today. And so I'm gonna read it again. God has heard your prayers and he has seen your kindness to the poor. God has taken notice of you. Oh Lord, thank you that you have heard our prayers thank you that you have taken notice of the things maybe that we've done in secret that nobody else has seen but you have taken notice of the kindness that we have shared with other people lord thank you that you have heard that you have seen and that you take notice of us to take notice is such a powerful thing and lord sometimes we can be going throughout our everyday lives and we can just you know there will be times where i just miss you i just I'm just too busy in my tasks and I I just don't spend time with you. But you have taken notice of me and you have taken notice of the people listening today. You are the God who sees, El Roy, the God who sees. Thank you for taking notice of us. Thank you that we can be cherished, loved, and sung over by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. What a privilege it is to be your children. And Lord, we just need to know today that you notice us. Would you show us that you notice us? I pray all these things in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. If you want to help the podcast, you can rate it on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, or write a little review. Two sentences, three sentences are really helpful. People actually do read those reviews. So if you have a little moment today in the uh, hiccup of time, I would appreciate uh, I would appreciate that so much. So thanks so much and have an amazing day. You are loved. You are noticed. Rest in that today. <laughs>